Welcome back to the Cricket Blog with Timothy Thompson. We will be reviewing the West Indies and New Zealand tour in the bubble. We will. Hey, welcome back to the Cricket Blog and I am Timothy Thompson, your host. And today we will be discussing the West Indies tour of New Zealand in the bubble. Some may see horrible tour, some may see it that we got positives from it, some may see it was a selection that went wrong, some may say it was a lack of discipline, some may say it was a lack of talent. But today we will be discussing and reviewing the tour of West, Indies, of West Indies in New Zealand. Let's start on game one. That's the 20 series. And the squad went as follows. Well, not the 11, but the squad. It was Shaman Hetmeyer, Brandon King, and Rodman Powell. Kieran Pollard as captain, Fabian Allen, Kyle Mills, and Timo Paul. Andre Fletcher, Nicholas Poor, and the vice captain, Sheldon Cottrell. O'Shane Thomas, Hayden Walsh Jr., Keswick Williams, and Romario Shepard. The ones that played the first game for the West Indies were Fletcher, Brandon King, Hetmeyer, Poran, Powell, Pollard, Allen, Paul, Cottrell, Keswick Williams, and O'Shane Thomas. How did the first game go? Well, the West Indies batted first and scored 180 for 7, with Andre Fletcher scoring 34, Kyron Pollard scoring 30, I mean 75, and Fabian Allen scoring 30. Well, in reply, the Kiwis gathered this score with four balls to spare, with Seifert scoring 17, Conway scoring 41, Felix scoring 22, and Nishan scoring 48. And that was game one. Now back to game two. New Zealand by the first scoring. 238 for 30 after 20 overs and West Indies in reply only gathered 166 for the loss of 9 wickets after 20 overs. Well, Fletcher started the ball hot with a 20, quick fire 20, then Pat Meyer came with 25 from 32 balls. Then Kyle Mears, the debutant, scored 20 from 14 balls with Kieran Pollard, the captain, scoring 28. Fabian Ann also chipped in with 15 and Timo Paul, 26. That was for the Wendy's. Disappointing, indeed. On to Game 3. West Indies wanting to take home at least one T20 game. Well, how did it go? The match was abandoned. And... The West Indies were batting first, were 25 for 1 after 2.2 overs, with Andre Fletcher scoring 4 from 3 balls and Brandon King being the one to be dismissed with 11 from 7 balls. Kyle Mears was next to come in, scoring 5 from 4 balls after the rain, after the rain interrupted an abandoned play. On to the test. Well, how did it go? The West Indies lost all two of those games, sadly. So let's get further into that. Tell you the scores and what were the highlights for the West Indies. I will tell you at the end of my little anchor. Tensions were high. It was test number one. After the West Indies were defeated in both, well, in both of the completed T20s, it was on to the test. What can West Indies do from the test? Well, they were defeated to well. How did the first test go? Well, New Zealand batted first. It was a green wicket, very green, looked good for bowling. Batted first and scored, and scored 519 for 7 declared. And the who was the main point of the New Zealand batting? Well, it was Kane, 251. 
So that's his highest score, 284. Then Tom Layton, sorry, I should have brought my Tom Layton first, but Tom Layton scored 86. Also had a Jameson 50 and a Ross Taylor 38. Well, what did the rest of these do in England? 138. Disappointing. I know, it's my side, but it's very disappointing. With Craig Braffy scoring 21, John Campbell scoring 26, Ross and Chase with a little 11, and Jermaine Black with 38, Jason Holder 25. Disappointing. The West Indies were then back into bat again. With Craig this time scoring 10 runs, with Bravo this time 12 runs, but Blackwood, the highlight, scored 104 from 141 deliveries. Well done, Jermaine Blackwood. With Alzari Joseph, yes, you heard it right, Alzari Joseph scoring 86 from 126 balls that showed lovely shots, looking like a top order batsman. That that stunned a lot of people, I must say. But lovely batting, young man. Lovely batting. Well, that was the first test. On to the second. Not much to take from it, but it was something to take from it. Test number two. Can we draw the series? Can we make it 1 1? Go back to the Caribbean with some sort of dignity. No. Well, Jason Holder won the toss and bowled first. Not a bad choice. The West Indies bowled pretty well, I must say. They bowled okay, but to me, they didn't take the catches and they weren't feeling good. They weren't good on the field. But this allowed New Zealand to score 460 runs all out. And this included a young 43. Nichols won 74, which I thought he gave like 10 chances to the West Indies. And the West Indies didn't capitalize on any of them. And um, there was a Watlin 30, there was a Mitchell 42. And whoa, what, what I thought was a blistering innings was the Wagner 66 thumping the West Indies bowlers. Um, <laughs> whoa, that, that was, that was cool. But they lose. In reply, the West Indies managed 131 all out. Yes, you heard it right. 131 all out. With Craig Baffrey scoring zero, John Campbell chipping in with 14, Brooks also with 14, then Jermaine Blackwood once again in the second test. Well, once again in the test series with 69. And that was all. He was the highlight of the West Indies innings in that first innings. Then taking a look to West Indies second innings. They had a pride graphic 24. He tried to score some runs, but that was a very good catch from Trent Bolt. Sorry, from Will Young. Thank you for it. Trent Bolt was a bowler. John Campbell scored 68. Shamar Brooks scored 36. Blackwood tried to chip in again, but only managed 20, sorry. Jason Holder, the captain, scored 61. That was a beautiful innings. A lot of pulls. I loved it. And the debutant, Joshua De Silva with 57. And Alzari Joseph trying once again but only managed 24 and Shamar Holden scored 13. Not bad 317 all out. I wish that was in the first innings not the second but well played New Zealand well played. Although that was disappointing well this still is disappointing but Let's take a look at the West Indies A and New Zealand A games. Uh, game number one. 
last innings by the first one, 324 in the first innings, with four runs scoring 46, the most in the top order, and in the middle, a low middle order, we had Raymond Rico with 65, and Romario Shepard, yes you heard right, Romario Shepard with 133 runs, yes folks, 133 runs. Well, in reply, New Zealand A scored 574. Yes, 574. Ah, 574, which included Glenn Phillips, who dominated in the T20 series with 136, Cypher with 111, and the list goes on. West Indies in reply, 109 all over. Only positives, Brown and King 22, Koran 35. The rest were. Huh. Anyhow, let's take a look at game two, the final game. So, New Zealand this time. Score body and score 481 for seven declared. West Indies in reply score 298 with Mosley with 110. Well, body Kuran 26, Fabian Allen 21, Kimo Paul 41, from Mario Shepard once again 77. Mm. They're positives, but well played New Zealand. New Zealand once again, but in again, scored 174 to 7. With Chapman scoring 40, Nishan scoring 38, and the list goes on. But they only managed 104. Well, they declared for 107. West Indies in reply, Colin and again, only lost by 111 runs, and 101 runs on. Bill Brown and King scoring 32, Mir scoring 19, Mosley scoring 54, and Pura scoring 68, 69, sorry, by 63 balls, as he was trying to push on to win the game. But, from there, only Fabian Allen. Manage runs with 35. As I said already, what can I say? Well played, museum. Looking at this series, it shows that we have a lot of work that can be done and that. Although the cricket is ahead of us, we could catch back up with the game. The harder work, being able to adapt to foundations better. And it just goes on, honestly. But there are positives, but again, love the museum. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Share with me in the comments, tell me what West Indies, you think West Indies should work on, what, was it bad selection, is it a lack of skill, what is it, tell me in the comments, throw it at me, thanks for watching this video, like, share, comment, do anything, thanks.